What's up, guys? MCG 55SS. Think about starting my own church and uh, I'm breaking down churches, but I'm going to talk about Christianity because I live in Alabama and Christianity is almost everything there is down here. Commandment 2, Exodus 24. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is heaven or above, that is earth or that is on the earth, or that is in the water below. So if you make a picture or draw a painting or anything, you're going to hell. Uh, sixth commandment, thou shalt not kill. Um, so that's Exodus 20, 13. But Exodus 22, you must kill those who worship another god. Second Kings 10, 18, 27, uh, God orders the murder of all worshippers of a different god in their own church. Numbers uh, 31, 17, 13, God commands Moses to kill all the men that people, including children and women. Virgins are to be saved, though, to be raped by Moses' soldiers. Deuteronomy 7.12, God orders Israelites to kill all people of seven days. He even adds, show no mercy unto them. So God says not to kill, but he sure does do a lot of fucking ordering to kill. Uh, Eslacities, or whatever, 1.9. What has been is what will be. What has been done is what will be done. There is nothing new under the sun. Now, if you still believe this, shoot yourself now, or just don't comment my page because you're a fucking idiot. Okay, if you still believe in God after this. So basically what I'm saying is us coming to America should never happen. That was something new. Uh, car being invented was some that should never happen. That was something new. Electricity is new. When the internet was new, when we went to the moon, when we nuked Japan, everything that's new that's invented should never happen because everything is supposed to stay the same according to the Bible. According to the Bible, all man is a sinner because Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit. But didn't Jesus wash away all the sins when he died? So wouldn't we all be pure again? Because that would wash away that sin. Uh, God uh, allows selling your daughter as a sex slave. Exodus 21, 1-11. And child abuse. Judges 11, 29-40. And Isaiah 13-16. 2 uh, John 1, 10. Don't associate with non-Christians. Don't receive them to your house. Or even exchange greetings with them. Uh, Philippians 2.10. Everyone will have to worship Jesus whether they want to or not. Uh, Romans 8.33. Christians cannot be accused of any wrongdoing. Uh, Matthew 7.1. Judge not that ye be not judged. So don't judge me for this. But I know I know how Christians are. I know y'all judge me. I mean, it's just it's given. Well... Jesus not or God not liking homosexuals, that's kind of given. In Genesis 19, 23 to 25, God burns down a whole city, women and children included, simply because they were supposedly homosexual. So, you know. What I don't get is if the whole city's homosexual, how are their children? You know, just, just a little thing. Um it's Leviathan or Leviticus 21, 16, 23. Handicapped people must not approach the altar. Um, that means mentally or physically. Um, here's an interesting fact. 76% uh, of, of violent crimes are done by Christians. And that's not Christians after they get into jail. They're Christians before they go to jail. Uh, Deuteronomy 14.8. Pork is forbidden. So no sausage, no bacon, no pork chops. None of that Christians. It is a forbidden food. Uh, a wrong prophecy by Jesus. Jesus tells John... 13 in John 13 38 the cock shall not crow till thou Peter has denied me three times uh, Mark 14 6, 6, 68 uh, the crock the cock crows after the first denial so ain't eh, wrong uh, Mark 10 19 know the command he says uh, Jesus says know the commandments he starts listening and he has defraud not in the middle of it defraud not is not in the Ten Commandments uh, I forgot which verse it is, but Jesus kills a fig tree for not bearing figs. Um, you know, but he kills it in dry season. That's like me going out and chopping down an apple tree in winter because it's not growing apples. You know, it's not supposed to grow fucking apples in winter. It's supposed to be dead or be downtime. Here's for all you Christians against abortion. Um, Hosea 9, 11 through 16. Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murder. Give them, O Lord, what wilt thou give? Give them a miscarrying woman, dry breast. Ephraim is smitten, their root is dry, they shall bear no fruit. Yea, though they bring forth, yet I will slay even the beloved fruit in their womb. So basically what it is, fruit is kids. The kids in the womb, God kills it. So, you know, if God's for abortion, maybe you should be too. 
Matthew 16, 28, another wrong one by Jesus or a very old man. There shall be some standing here which shall not taste of death. They will see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. So basically when Jesus said this, one of those people, at least one of those people standing at that site would be alive when Jesus resurrected. So either the prophecy's wrong or there's one really old guy out there. John 14, 12 states that a follower of Jesus can perform any of his works and do it greater. So what was Jesus' works? Let's see, cure blindness, um, resurrect the dead, um, turn water to wine, walk on water. So, so until, if you want to flame on here, Christians, until you raise somebody from the dead, leave me the fuck alone. Oh, here's another one. Mark 16, 17, 18. It says a believer can drink any daily thing and it shall not hurt them. So, okay, so I want you to drink like a gallon of bleach. And if you're not dead in a week, okay, or get, drink some arsenic or some shit like that, you know. If you don't die from it, then you know the Bible's right. If you do die from it, then you know you're it's wrong. He that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. Matthew 15, 4 through 7. So basically, if your kid's bad, you're supposed to kill him. Interesting facts, Hitler was Roman Catholic and he was baptized in Austria. He was not excommunicated or condemned for killing Jews. In fact, they thought it was just for the Jews killed Jesus. And he worked closely with the Pope. <coughs> okay, after that's done, now let's look at this. Do you really want your kids to read that book? After just some of the verses I picked out. And some of the verses I picked up from uh, www.evilbible.com. From just some of those verses, would you really want your kid to read the Bible? Really? If you say your answer is still yes, you're really worse off than I thought, okay? But if your answer is no, if I've enlightened you a little bit, if I've woken you up or brought you out of people like this church down here that says free thinkers or Satan or Satan slaves, which you know any real American knows without free thinkers, we wouldn't be here. We would still be ruled by Britain and, you know, still be controlled and everything. Free thinkers is what advanced the society. Free thinkers is what got us where we are and is what will get us where we're going. You know, but if you think like me, if you think that this is a sham, if you think, you know, if you're looking for something, I'm not going to give you the answer. I'm not going to say that. But I do have a church that I'm going to put on YouTube. I'm going to have like two or three things. That's it. You can look at it in the meantime or whatever you want to. But I'm not going to ask you for money. I'm not going to say I've got a revelation about on TV. I'm going to post on a free site. You can either take it or leave it. If you've been awoken or if you're smarter than the rest, maybe you'll think of looking at my site. If not, you know, I don't care. And I guess I wouldn't call it church more as a movement. You know, But it's whatever you choose. Till then, take care of yourself.